today we will discuss about options bar in Revit. First of all, I welcome all my friends on my educational channel. Subscribe it and press the bell icon for more latest videos. Like and share also. Options bar is an important part of the user interface. This should be the first place you look when a tool or object in the project is selected. The options bar is located below the ribbon. It displays conditional tools depends on the current tool or selected element. You can dock the options bar at the top of the screen below the ribbon which is the default location or at the bottom of the screen just above the status bar. Right click the options bar to change its docked position. Normally options bar is a blank bar without selecting any tool or object. It displays the information by selecting elements. Select a wall tool. Information related wall is in front of us. Either we want to create the wall in height or depth. We can define wall level by numerical value. Wall location line with different options can also manage. Wall continuity depends on the chain checkbox. By checking wall will draw continuously. We can also define wall radius by numerical value. By join status, allow walls will connect it with each other. And by selecting disallow walls will unjoin with each other. Now we draw a duct. Select duct tool from system tab. Now we can see duct information in options bar. Duct height, duct width and middle elevation we can change from here. And can select desired sizes and elevation. By selecting cable tray tool, it shows the information of a cable tray. We can set width, height or middle elevation of cable tray as per design. Similarly, by selecting any tool or element, we can set the sizes or information as per project requirements. It's over to the options bar topic. I hope you understand it. For more educational videos, keep watching BIM Talks.